What's going on guys, and today I have an Inform Olivier Giroud player review. He did get this Inform card for scoring a hat-trick, I believe it was, against Aston Villa last weekend. The last Premier League game of the season. So into his actual stats, not the greatest of stats, he's got 85 shooting and 85 physical. The rest are kind of average with 73 passing and 74 dribbling, along with 68 pace and 40 defending. He's 6 foot 4, medium medium work rates, left footed, 3 star weak foot 2 star skill moves and it only cost me 11,500 coins. And for an 85, uh, 83 sorry, rated player, that is very very good because he is in the BPL, probably the best league in the world and he is 83 rated. For only 11,500 coins that is incredible and in the 8, eight games he got to me 7 goals and 8 assists which is incredible for a striker. So into his stats he get 87 attack positioning, 86 uh, reactions as well along with 80 stamina and 90 strength, 85 ball control, 89 heading accuracy, uh, 83 penalties and 87 shot power. He also has 83 volleys, so some very, very nice stats there. Into his player info, he has 28, of course he's a striker, left footed, medium, medium work rates, 3 star weak foot, 2 star skill moves and he's got the strength, speciality and no traits guys. This card... I kid you not, he felt like a cam. The amount of assists he made was just not normal for a striker. Like seriously, he made like eight assists in eight games. is incredible. As you can see, he is he is an he's the number one poacher. Um, he just he's just there when you need him. Basically, he isn't very fast, which kind of means he needs to poach in a way. Um, a lot of the goals you will see, he doesn't really run past the defence or anything. This is actually a really nice pass over um, to create that goal, but he doesn't, he's not the kind of player that you're going to dribble in and out a lot with. This is probably, I believe this is the only clip I actually did any dribbling with. Really, really nice play here from Olivier Giroud. Unfortunately, he didn't score that one. That would have been a very, very nice goal, but... He is a number one poacher, he's a very, very good poacher, guys, can just finish off anything you give to him on a plate, the keeper saves it, he's there for the rebounds, uh, through balls as well, he's just about fast enough normally to get in the end of them, but the would, would say the one negative would be his pace, I mean, he's only got 68 pace, you can't really expect much, but to be fair, it's not that bad, it's not like uncontrollably bad that you can't use it, it's okay, nothing too special though, I, I'm kind of disappointed, Um and his pace aspect of it, but the rest of his card is very, very fun to use. If you like a striker that's good in the air, a strong striker, one that's good at finishing, this is definitely by far um, one of the best cards you could probably get in that area. He made so many assists though, I just still can't get over how many assists he made in the eight games. Like, everything was an assist, I don't know if that was because of his pace, he couldn't do it himself, so he had to play it off to somebody, that probably was one of the reasons, but as you can see, this is one of the nicest goals I've scored all week, very, very nice volley there from Olivier Giroud, um, and that is in fact the final clip, very, very cool picture on this card as well, the ball looks a bit weird, but apart from that, very, very cool picture, I'm going to give the positives for Olivier Giroud, his strength, Poacher, finishing and passing. Very, very strong on the ball. Doesn't really get um, pushed off it or anything. Poacher, he is just in that area in front of goal where he just poaches it. Hits the wee, um, maybe the rebounds and sometimes even um, the headers and stuff like that. Just, just the kind of player you want to do that. Also his finishing, very, very good at finishing as you can expect of a guy with 85 shooting. And also his passing. I can't not include that in when you make 8 assists with a striker. Absolutely incredible, guys. Um, and the only negative I'm going to give him is his pace. And to be honest, it isn't that much of a negative. You kind of expect it with the 68 pace. But I had to put it in there because uh, I knew there was a slight negative. I could feel it. And I think that negative was, in fact, the pace. It let him down a bit. If he had, if he had pace, he would be so good. Like, genuinely, he'd be so good. He's got everything else, basically, apart from the pace aspect. And that's the one thing that lets him down. I'm going to be having him an 8.8. 8 out of 10, very very fun card to use guys um, and yeah I'd recommend going and picking him up if that's a strike of striker you like to use hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button, if you get 15 likes that'd be absolutely insane guys, subscribe as well if you're new to the channel or you're new to the player reviews I have loads coming out during team of the season not just informs, there will be loads of team of the season reviews that you can check out on my channel and there is also a playlist with inform and team of the season um, reviews in them, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video make sure to comment down below guys who You'd like to see me review after um, the Dennis Suarez review, Team of the Season review, which should be next. After that, who do you guys want to see me review? Make sure to comment that down below, guys. And apart from that, I'll see you guys next time.